fire in the replica Roman pottery kiln that I built in 2017 here at Vindolanda with the help of a wonderful team of volunteers is true experiential archaeology. Fire in a kiln in the 21st century often involves no more than pressing a button and walking away. In fire in this kiln, all five senses are given a workout worthy of, of a professional gymnasium. The smell of the wood smoke, and the way that the smell changes as the temperature of the kiln rises, the feel of the warm moist air leaving the kiln by the exit view in the early stages of the firing, and then the intense searing heat radiating from the firebox in the later stages. The sight and sound of the flame as it roars from the exit view. And then the glow of the pot seen through when looking down through that opening. The dullest, almost imperceptible deep red at first as the pots reach the mid 500s of degrees centigrade, building up through cherry red to orange and yellow as the temperature passes a thousand degrees. The feel of wet mud in the hand drying as it's applied to the hot surface when you seal the dome of the kiln but also the experience of the surroundings, a piece of woodland next to running water, a setting ideal for making and firing of pottery and one that would have been familiar to so many Roman potters. The background sounds of the rushing stream, the wind in the trees, the rain on the roof and the babble of the workers, voices of the workers, the thwack of an ax or the repetitive sound of a spade mixing daub to seal the kiln. It's only by actually doing the process that we can experience all these things and get a little insight into the world of a Roman potter. But out of these experiences come the questions. How did Roman potters measure temperature? How many of the pots would survive the first firing? How many would they lose? How often did the Roman kiln need repairing? And it's here that we move into the realm of experimental archaeology, testing hypotheses, comparing the results to excavated examples, and feeding the findings back into the next firing. And in the next firing, well, not sure when that'll be, but why don't you come along to Vindolanda and have a look? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep you informed every time we're preparing pots for a firing at Vindolanda.